Once common, short-tailed albatross was brought to the edge of extinction by the trade in feathers, but with protection has recently made a recovery. Albatrosses are among the largest of flying birds and are highly efficient in the air, using dynamic soaring and slope soaring to cover great distances with little exertion. The evolutionary history of penguins is well researched and represents a showcase of evolutionary biogeography. Although penguin bones of any one species vary much in size and few good specimens are known. The basal penguins lived around the time of the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction event somewhere in the general area of New Zealand, which was subtropical. The oldest known fossil penguin species is Waimanu. Kumamau is another basal penguin, the species arose after the extinction of the non-avian dinosaurs. Anthropornis is the largest penguin ever found, it reached 1.8 meters in height and 90 kilograms in weight. Icadiptes appears to have flourished at warmer latitudes at a time when world temperatures were at their warmest over the past 65 million years. The gigantic penguins had disappeared by the end of the Paleogene, around 25 Maya. Their decline and disappearance coincided with the spread of the Squalodontoidea and other primitive fish-eating toothed whales, which certainly competed with them for food. The New Zealand giant penguin was probably the heaviest. Although it was an early penguin, Inkeaku closely resembled its modern relatives. Yhe melanosomes within the feathers of Inkeaku are long and narrow, similar to most other birds. Their shape suggests that Inkeaku had gray and reddish brown feathering across its body. It may not have been able to swim very deep, possibly remaining near the surface. The emperor penguin is the tallest and heaviest of all living penguin species and is endemic to Antarctica. While hunting, the species can remain submerged up to 18 minutes, diving to a depth of 500 meters. It has several adaptations to facilitate this, including an unusually structured hemoglobin to allow it to function at low oxygen levels, solid bones to reduce barotrauma, and the ability to reduce its metabolism and shut down non-essential organ functions. It is a social animal in its nesting and its foraging behavior. Birds hunting together may coordinate their diving and surfacing. Smaller, but somewhat similar in appearance to the emperor penguin, king penguin typically do not inhabit the same areas in the wild, with the possible exception of vagrants at sea, but the king can readily be distinguished from the emperor by its noticeably sleeker body, with a longer, straighter bill. 70% of king penguins are expected to abruptly disappear in less than 80 years. Considered sensitive indicators of changes in marine ecosystems, they serve as a key species for understanding the effects of climate change on the marine biome. African penguin has distinctive pink patches of skin above the eyes and a black facial mask, the pink gland above their eyes helps them to cope with changing temperatures. When the temperature gets hotter, its body sends more blood to these glands to be cooled by the air surrounding it. This then causes the gland to turn a darker shade of pink. African penguin is declining rapidly due to a combination of several threats and is classified as endangered. It is a charismatic species and is popular with tourists. Humboldt penguins nest on islands and rocky coasts, burrowing holes in guano and sometimes using scrapes or caves. They have spines on their tongue which they use to hold their prey. Due to a declining population caused in part by overfishing, climate change, and ocean acidification, the current status of the Humboldt penguin is threatened. Historically it was the victim of guano over-exploitation. They are also declining in numbers due to habitat destruction including by invasive species. Adelie penguins are faced with extreme osmotic conditions, as their frozen habitats offer little fresh water. 
Such desert conditions mean that the vast majority of the available water is highly saline, causing the diets of Adelie penguins to be heavy in salt. They manage to circumvent this problem by eating krill with internal concentrations of salt at the lower end of their possible concentrations, helping to lower the amount of ingested salts. Gentoo penguins do not store as much fat as the Adelie penguin, their closest relative. Gentoos require less energy investment when hunting because the net gain of energy after hunting is greater in gentoos than Adelie's. In the wild, leopard seals, giant petrels and killer whales are all predators of the gentoo. The chinstrap penguin's tightly packed feathers provide a waterproof coat, enabling it to swim in freezing waters. Additionally, thick blubber deposits and intricate blood vessels in the flippers and legs assist in the preservation of heat. Its diet consists of fish, shrimp and squid which they swim up to 80 kilometers offshore each day to obtain. Little penguins are diurnal and like many penguin species, spend the largest part of their day swimming and foraging at sea. Thus, sunlight, moonlight and artificial lights can affect the behavior of attendants to the colony. Also, increased wind speeds negatively affect the little penguin's efficiency in foraging for chicks, but for reasons not yet understood. The common name of the rockhopper penguin refers to the fact that, unlike many other penguins which get around obstacles by sliding on their bellies or by awkward climbing using their flipper-like wings as aid, rockhoppers will try to jump over boulders and across cracks. This behavior is by no means unique to this species. Depending on how crustaceans and other prey adapt to survive, due to climate changes, penguins will have to adapt or disperse as well. A carnivore, the white stork eats a wide range of animal prey, it takes most of its food from the ground, among low vegetation and from shallow water. It is a monogamous breeder, but does not pair for life. Both members of the pair build a large stick nest, which may be used for several years. It benefited from human activities during the Middle Ages as woodland was cleared, but changes in farming methods and industrialization saw it decline and disappear from parts of Europe. The oriental stork is a solitary bird except during the breeding season. There have been efforts to reintroduce the storks to the wild, but first changes in the environment must be accomplished. The storks were harshly impacted by the growth of the rice industry and the subsequent use of pesticides. The marabou stork is a frequent scavenger, and the naked head and neck are adaptations to this livelihood, as it is with the vultures with which the stork often feeds. In both cases, a feathered head would become rapidly clotted with blood and other substances when the bird's head was inside a large corpse, and the bare head is easier to keep clean. It also resembles other storks in that it is not very vocal, but indulges in bill-rattling courtship displays. 
The throat sac is also used to make various noises at that time. Plototerids are flightless seabirds from the order Suliforms. Related boobies, they exhibited remarkable convergent evolution with the penguins, particularly with the now extinct giant penguins. They had shortened wings optimized for underwater wing propelled pursuit diving. Brown booby is perhaps the most common and widespread species. It has a pantropical range, which overlaps with that of other booby species. The gregarious brown booby commutes and forages at low height over inshore waters. Although they are powerful and agile flyers, they are particularly clumsy in takeoffs and landings, they use strong winds and high perches to assist their takeoffs. Their beaks are quite sharp and contain many jagged edges. They have fairly short wings resulting in a fast flap rate. The blue color of the blue-footed booby's webbed feet comes from carotenoid pigments obtained from its diet of fresh fish. Carotenoids act as antioxidants and stimulants for the blue-footed booby's immune function, suggesting that carotenoid pigmentation is an indicator of an individual's immunological state. Experiments have shown that asynchronous hatching may also reduce sibling rivalry. Experimentally manipulated synchronous broods produced more aggressive chicks, chicks in asynchronous broods were less violent. Ornithologists speculate that the wings of the Jamaican ibis were used as weapons, in the manner of a club, similar to the adaptations found in some mantis shrimps that possess a club-like distally inflated dactyl used to strike prey and other shrimps. However, among birds, this adaption appears to be unique. The white-faced ibis is very similar to the glossy ibis in its non-breeding plumages, but it tends to be slightly smaller and the plumage color is somewhat warmer. In captivity, it live up to 14 years on average. At one time, the crested ibis was widespread in eastern Asia. It has now disappeared from most of its former range, the last wild crested ibis in Japan died in October 2003. Due to ongoing habitat loss, small population size, limited range, winter starvation and persecution in last century brought this endangered species to the brink of extinction. Roseate spoonbill feeds in shallow fresh or coastal waters by swinging its bill from side to side as it steadily walks through the water, often in groups. The spoon-shaped bill allows it to sift easily through mud. Like the American flamingo, their pink color is diet-derived, consisting of the carotenoid pigment canthoxanthin. Unlike herons, spoonbills fly with their necks outstretched. <laughs> The great white pelican is highly sociable and often forms large flocks. It is well adapted for aquatic life. The short strong legs and webbed feet propel it in water and aid a rather awkward takeoff from the water's surface. In flight, it is an elegant soaring bird, with the head held close to and aligned with the body. Its flight consists of a few slow wingbeats followed by a glide. The pelican's pouch serves simply as a scoop. As the pelican pushes its bill underwater, the lower bill bows out, creating a large pouch which fills with water and fish. The brown pelican is a very gregarious bird, it lives in flocks of both sexes throughout the year. In level flight, brown pelicans fly in groups, with their heads held back on their shoulders and their bills resting on their folded necks. They may fly in AV formation, but usually in regular lines or single file, often low over the water's surface. To exclude water from the nasal passage, they have narrower internal regions of the nostrils.
As with other pelicans, Dalmatian pelican males are larger than the females, and likewise their diet is mainly fish. The species numbers underwent a dramatic decline during the 20th century, partly due to land use, disturbance and poaching activities. This pelican usually migrates short distances. It is dispersive in Europe, based on feeding opportunities, with most western birds staying through the winter in the Mediterranean region. In general, the species prefers relatively warm temperatures. The shoebill is noted for its slow movements and tendency to stay still for long periods, resulting in descriptions of the species as statue-like. They are quite sensitive to human disturbance and may abandon their nests if flushed by humans. Shoebills are largely piscivorous but are assured predators of a considerable range of wetland vertebrates. The activity of hippopotamus may inadvertently benefit the shoebill, as submerged hippos occasionally force fish to the surface. 